If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to some Ultimate Team. Now last episode, it was a big one for us. We got our first victory. We went ahead, we pulled Julius Thomas. Now I actually forgot to do this at the end of the last video, but... We did complete the challenge, so we were able to improve one of our linebackers, and I know I was like asking you guys, should I do Demario Davis, should I do Willie McGinnis? I end up doing Willie McGinnis, he goes up to an 88 overall. The only thing that was kind of weird was like the other Willie McGinnis, the 85 that we were just using, was a right outside linebacker. This one is a left outside linebacker. So our defense is actually really starting to come together. We also went ahead and improved Yannick up to an 89 overall. Did we do that in the last episode or was that episode two? I don't remember. Unfortunately on offense, we still have Cody Kessler at quarterback. So this man like literally throws games. If you guys missed it, he had like a negative 30 yard pass. Don't ask me how that happens, but he made it happen. He's our quarterback though. We gotta stick behind him. Hopefully he can have a good game today. Now I think you guys are starting to get the hang of this. So we're just gonna spin this wheel right away I don't want to explain it every single episode so we get to go ahead and we don't get to improve quarterback because Cody Kessler doesn't have an upgrade so we're gonna respin this I wish we could improve quarterback but we still haven't pulled one so we're stuck for now uh, we can improve our tight end though we actually pulled Julius Thomas to end the last video and he does actually have a couple upgrades we can use so I feel like we get it every video I wouldn't be mad if we get two plus turnovers again uh, we're gonna end up getting three plus sacks. I feel like this one shouldn't be too hard. If anything, we can just like bring a ton of blitzes and you know hopefully get three plus sacks. This guy must have just started playing. His top three is literally worse than ours. I'm not gonna complain. Like this is the first time we're actually playing someone that's a similar team to us. If we somehow don't win this game, like I, I don't even know. First play, Cody Kessler back at it again. Is this man for real? Like I'm pretty sure anyone could hit a drag route. We're gonna give it to Abdullah. Oh, we got a ton of space. Come on, keep running. That's Harrison Smith. He's got no chance. And this is gonna be a touchdown. Second play of the game. Thank gosh we have Amir Abdullah. He's our whole offense. I may have been so excited we got the lead. I may have missed the extra point. Don't worry about it. This guy, oh, he's going with the screen pass. We're all over that. That's a diving interception. We actually have to upgrade Demario Davis. This dude is so good for a goal. We're going to Julius Thomas. He's going to hang on to that down at the five. Surprise, Cody Kessler didn't throw that in the first row. We're going to go right back to Julius Thomas. That's going to be a touchdown. We're going up two scores. Let's see what we can do on defense now. I'm going to start sending some heat because I want to get those three plus sacks. He's going to hand it off here so we can't get a sack, unfortunately. It's actually a pretty good run. I feel like this guy actually kind of knows what he's doing. He's going across the middle. We were just a second too late. He's already up to about midfield. The reason why I feel like he knows what he's doing is because look at this. He's literally running stretch out of like one of the cheesiest formations in the game. Maybe he's kind of doing the same thing we are, just using like a lesser team. That's across the middle. And that's going to be a huge play. I feel like I'm always just like a step behind and getting those user interceptions. Uh, oh yeah, get that. That's a great play by Wilson. I'm user in Davis. Keekly's going on a blitz. Oh, he got there in a hurry. Um, oh no. This, yeah, make sure to bring him down. I'm so worried about trying to get sacks. I'm leaving receivers, like, wide open. He's actually gonna go with a quarterback draw with Matt Ryan. Interesting. Nah, you ain't going there. That's gonna end up being a sack. That's gonna be number one. He's really going for this. Fourth and goal from the 15. Heck no, that had no chance. He's got both safeties on the left side of the field, which makes me think this is a blitz. Yep, he's bringing a blitz. So we got one-on-one -on -one coverage. That's Julius Thomas. We just made him look stupid, and that's going to be a touchdown. My man Julius is earning this upgrade. Dang it, now that I think about it, we should have went for two, because if we're up 21-0, like the concede thing would have popped up at the end of the first quarter. Oh, it actually pops up anyways. I thought it had to be 21-0. I guess it can be 20-0. This guy's talking in his mic. I'm kind of curious what he's saying. Uh, maybe he's saying goodbye because he's going to quit. First thing we're going to do, upgrade my boy Julius Thomas. Now, he only goes up to an 80, so it's probably pretty much like the same card. If we actually upgrade him two more times, his next version is the 86. And then after that, he's got a replay card. I don't know if it's like a 90 or a 93. Regardless, like it should be pretty good. You guys see how his 79's doing. Also, one change we're gonna make to the series, instead of opening up a gold premium pack, which I've been doing after wins, I saw some of you guys in the comment section saying to open up gold player packs, which aren't as good, but apparently you get like better pulls out of them. This is always my favorite part. So this is our first gold player pack. We get to open up two. We're going to start off with Cordero Patterson. I feel like he's got to have an upgrade. If I remember correctly, he may even have like 
a halfback out of position card. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but second card, Stacy Coley. I don't think he has anything. Nelson Spruce, uh, Demontre Moore, and oh, Kyle Van Noy. I know he's got some upgrades. I think you guys are on to something. These gold player packs, they might actually be the move. And the other thing is we actually get to open up two instead of like one gold premium pack, which I actually like that better anyways. And then of course, like I said, we get to use coins and not actual money. So what do we got? Second pack. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's the punter that has the positional hero. I just got done looking it up. Brent Kern, he may be a 75 overall punter right now, but he's got two upgrades. The second one is like the 90 overall of like the position hero. And then the third upgrade, well, the second upgrade, I guess you could say, is the 98 overall punter. And this is huge for us because like we punt the ball all the time. Will Ty, I don't think he has any upgrades. Jeremy Lankford, I don't think he has any either. We just got two golds that really can't help us. We get a third gold, Jonathan Woodard. And then we're gonna end things with the silver. I don't even care because we just like got the best punter in the game. His team is definitely a little bit better than the last guy. It's still not the greatest. Like I'm used to seeing like 399s. I just realized I totally forgot to do the wheels. Oh no, this is, we'll do it after this play. Okay, there you go, you're not going anywhere. He's actually gonna try and run. That's a fumble. And that's a recovery by him. Now he's going no huddle. I wanted to do the wheel, but this guy keeps going no huddle. There we go. We're actually shutting him down in the backfield. And even after that play, he's still going to keep going no huddle. He's actually got Barry Sanders. That's going to be a huge problem for us. Okay, he's passing. That's what I like to see. He's going outside the pocket once again. There we go. He's going to try running. He's going to fumble again, and it's going to go out of bounds. I don't know if I'm actually going to have time to do the wheel. So let's do the same challenges from last game. Okay, I thought he was actually going to score there for a second. This guy is going no huddle after every single play. That's going to be an interception. Come on. This might be a pick six. Demario Davis, keep running. He's got like 79 speed. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, that's Evan Ingram. Come on. No, Buster, give us a block. We are definitely getting caught. Come on, keep running. We're actually going to drag him all the way down to the five. Demario Davis is just like... He's so good. I, I want to upgrade him. How about if we get three plus sacks, we upgrade to Mario Davis. That's not how it works. I can't just pick and choose. If we do get three plus sacks, we're going to upgrade Julius Thomas. We're going to go with a toss here. We got some blocks. Unfortunately, I ran into one of those blocks. If we don't score here, I'm going to be kind of salty because we probably should have had a pick six. That is just... Oh, we're lucky we didn't fumble. Defense, keep doing what you're doing. That... Oh, he's definitely got us there. That's right across the middle. Just like that, he's already on our side of the field he's running for his life again that one is off the mark that's gonna be incomplete this could be a huge play in the game right here fourth and four i'm on davis no you ain't going there he is going there though that was a great read by him he's trying to get to the outside that's actually gonna go backwards that's gonna make it fourth down yeah you ain't slick i was ready for that he's going across the middle and that one's incomplete turnover on downs we gotta go to patterson here right looks like he's actually got a beat across the middle that was a great play by safe. That's Brian Dawkins. That's why. Uh-oh. This guy's just going to keep running counter. I don't know if we can do anything to stop this. Do not let him score. He's down at the 10. He's going toss left. Come on. Good contain. He's well short of the end zone. Fourth and goal. He's going to go. Oh, toss right. Same exact play. Seriously? That would have been a game-changing stop right there. Instead, we're down 6-3. to three. This guy's actually going for two. If we get a stop, that'd be huge. He's running quick pitch again. We just can't stop it. See if we can hit him. Uh, I, that is, what, like, what are we supposed to do there? He's got no timeouts left. Just got to keep him in bounds. There we go. You ain't going anywhere. Uh, uh oh, come on. No, that's Cooks. He's going to get out with one second left. That was about the worst way we could have ended the half. We were up 3 nothing with like 40 seconds left. Now we're down 11 to 3. This man's actually chewing clock now. I'm asleep. There, yeah, you ain't going anywhere on Keekly. I wonder what's coming. A toss left. Who would have guessed? The problem is, like, our defense just can't do anything. This guy's literally about to use up all the time. Now he's going up the middle. Oh, my gosh. We just got destroyed. We have to go for this right here. And we have to complete it if we're going to try to get a comeback. We got uh, We're looking for Patterson. There we go. Pressure's coming. What was that for a pass? This man, Cody Kessler, has to be sabotaging. He's going to score a touchdown. That, I, I'm, dude, I'm done. He, you win. Guys, I just finished the game. I'm going to let you know. I didn't get three sacks, so we're not going to upgrade. And we lost, so we got to open up a silver player pack. Though we can get some goods out of this. 
we got a Andre Smith. He used to be good. And then we get Kevin Hogan. Might as well put him at quarterback. I actually just looked it up. Andre Smith does have a replay card from a few years ago. So I guess I was right on that part. That is going to be it for the episode though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys for all the support on episode 3. The video's at like almost 12,000 likes. Like that's just crazy. If you guys could keep hitting that like button, like I would truly appreciate it. I know I said I would get episode 4 out like ASAP. And I know it's been like five days since the last episode. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to record the next episode right now. Hopefully you guys did enjoy though. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.